Okay, so so a little bit more on, on theory behind geometry and parallel lines. Okay, so I'm going to draw some parallel lines. And I know they're parallel when I've got these little um, arrows on them. Okay, so they're parallel lines. And I'm going to draw another line just going down through them. Okay, so in, in, in geometry, you need to be also able to, um, I'm going to say he's 40 degrees, that angle there, okay? Um, and I can figure out an awful lot of angles in that diagram just from knowing that that particular one there is 40 degrees. So what I want to explain to you is, is corresponding angles. alternate angles, uh, vertically opposite angles, and interior angles. Okay, so corresponding angles. Okay, so let, let's start with that one. And I always remember these from the letter F, okay? Where the arms of the F are my parallel lines. Can you see that? Okay, now remember the F could be backwards. It could also be upside down. Okay, so there's a few different ways of Fs, okay? So you're looking out for the letter F. So for example, I have an F here. Do you see the arms of my F are the parallel lines? Okay, uh, and you might say, so what? What are you doing with them? Well, let me draw a bigger one. The angles under the arms of the F are equal. So corresponding angles are equal. Okay, so this angle here corresponds to this one here. Okay, so in this one, it should be that angle there. So it's under the arms of the F. Okay, so if I go back to the F that I drew there, okay, it's this angle here that corresponds to this angle here. Okay, in a similar way, I could draw an F over this side. Do you see they're all my parallel lines and it's the angles under the arms of the Fs that are equal. Okay. Could I find another angle that's equal to um, 40 degrees? Well, yes, if I draw my, can I find another one that's 40 degrees? No, not easily enough, but let me tell you what we will do. You see my straight angle that's here? So what does a straight angle equal? I N G L E, 180 degrees, okay? So if he's 40, can you see I can draw a straight angle here? Think of a protractor. So the one down here is not 180 degrees. They add to 180 degrees. It's 140 degrees. Okay. Always see, can you draw in your protractor because your protractor is 180 degrees. Okay. So that angle there is 140. Okay. So now, can you see if I drew in that original F that I drew, that angle there, is corresponds to this angle there. Okay, um, so that's how you work corresponding angles. And you, again, twist your page around the F that I would have needed to do the 40 is this one here, okay? Um, much easier to see once you twist your page around that it's the arms under the F, okay? Um, and you'll find there's loads of different ways to, to solve these, it just depends which ones you see. So that's corresponding angles, you've got to know them. Corresponding angles are equal. The next one I want to show you is all turnit angles. And I know these from Z, okay? So again, the top and the bottom of the Z are parallel lines and you'll find it's the angles within these 
that are equal. So these are also equal. Alternate angles are equal in size. Okay, so it's the angles enclosed by the arms of that Z. Okay, so can I find a Z here? Well, yes, I can. Bit of a backwards one, but a Z. Okay, so, sorry, let me just draw that for you. Alternate angles, okay? So all your shapes can be mirror imaged and flipped. Okay, so let's put him in here, here, and here. So this 140 also equals the 140 over here. Okay, and you'll find loads more Zs on that if you keep looking, okay? So I could come from one from this side. So that little angle there that I know is 40 will be equal to this little angle here that's also 40. Okay, there's another Z. But the arms of the Z again are the parallel lines. That's how you know where to start and stop your Z. So always start and stop your Z on the parallel lines, okay? So in other words, I couldn't start my Z on this one and go somewhere here because that's not a parallel line at the way I've drawn. It's not parallel to anything. So that's your alternate angles and they are equal. Okay, vertically opposite angles then. Okay, so you're looking out for the letter X in this one. Okay, so this angle here is vertically opposite this one down here. Okay, or of course, I could say that this one here that I'm coloring in red is also vertically opposite this one. Okay, so vertically opposite angles are also equal in measure. Okay, and it's the easiest one I think to spot. Okay, so you get them all here at the corners. So see the X? So if I go with that, then isn't this one here also 40? And in the same way, if I put in my X, because this one is 140, isn't the one out here 140? You could also see it here. We showed that this one was 140 using alternate angles. You could also show it was 140 using vertically opposite angles, okay? So now I can say that this one down here is 40 degrees. And I can also say he's 140 degrees, and that's using vertically opposite angles. Okay, so the easiest one probably to remember and to spot. Okay, so I have one left, which is this interior angles. Okay, and it's probably the one that's least used. So interior angles are, you're looking for um, an inside, so kind of like half a rectangle, okay? And the interior angles are the inside angles. Do you see them there? Okay, so do you remember the F was underneath? Well, the interior would be this one and this one, the, the inside ones, okay? They're not equal. You can see that on this triangle, or sorry, on this diagram. He's 140, he's an obtuse angle. He's definitely not an obtuse angle. Okay, in fact, he's 40 degrees. And you can see he's 40 degrees from that straight angle there. Or you can do it with corresponding or alternate or wherever you want it. So if I look at my interior angles, you can see they're most definitely not equal. So what's the story with interior angles? Well, they add up to 180 degrees, okay? And that would make sense with the rectangle because the four corners in a rectangle or a square add up to 360 degrees. So that's half of it. So it adds up to 180. So interior angles add up to one, 140 degrees, okay? And it's probably the least one used um, because we have corresponding, I'm just plugging in my computer, um, because we have corresponding and alternate and everything else. And there's so many ways to spot those angles um, that we tend not to end up using interior much. But, um, but it is also very handy. So these are, I suppose, the tools in your toolkit 
sorry, corresponding angles, alternate angles, vertically opposite angles, and interior angles that you use to solve geometry questions um, where you have to either show that a triangle is equal or you have to figure out angles. But it's a mixture of these. You're always trying to spot these um, in, in that section. OK, so very important. You know your Fs, your, your Zs, your Xs and your interior angles.